Reframe or avoid negative references and don't over apologize. Hi, we want you to think on the following statement. This may be difficult to understand. What do you think? It's a statement that is unlikely to be received with excitement because the receiver could start to think, oh, difficult to understand, and assume it will be difficult to understand. Keep such phrases positive and say instead, here comes the interesting part. If you're in class and the professor says, it's going to get more difficult tomorrow, would you still be keen to come back tomorrow? The same principle applies when an agent takes the customer through a procedure on the phone. After all, it may not be difficult to understand for everyone, but when we hear the word difficult, some people might reduce their listening potential. The word interesting naturally increases our listening potential. Avoid using the future tense in a negative way. Adopt the statements like, this is going to get a little trickier, to say, this is where it's going to get a bit more interesting. That will probably make your customer feel much better. Now let's talk about over-apologizing. Over-apologizing can make things worse. Offer an apology and then move it straight on to the fix. Don't apologize over and over again. By repeating the apology, the agent will continuously put themselves on the back foot in the conversation. Also, over-apologizing will just compound the mistake. The customer wants to move away from the frustration, which may be associated with the error, and move towards the feeling of relief that may be found after the query is solved. However, the apology that is given must be sincere. When the customer hears, I'm sorry you feel that way, it just puts the problem back onto the customer. Take ownership. We're going to leave it with six steps to great customer service apology. Get ready. Six steps to a great customer service apology. Understand what you're apologizing for. Say sorry sincerely. Show empathy. Give the solution. Take responsibility. And finally, offer reassurance.